Now we celebrate Black History Month by celebrating another tri-state trailblazer. Tonight we honor a woman from Harlem behind a revolutionary treatment that restored vision to the sightless. Here's Eyewitness News anchor Shirlene Alicott. Dr. Patricia Bath was an ophthalmologist and scientist who helped pave the way for future generations of African-American women in the field. Our eyes help us navigate the world, but as we age, cataracts can develop, which make it difficult to see. Thankfully, Dr. Patricia Bath saw the solution. In 1981, she invented a device and technique using a laser that revolutionized cataract surgery. Being the first person to demonstrate that you can use lasers you know, in this way for cataracts that hadn't been done. Dr. Bath shattered the glass ceiling, the first African-American female doctor to receive a medical patent. Her life began in Harlem on November 4th, 1942. The pioneer spirit was in her blood. Her father was the first black motorman to work for the New York City subway. Dr. Bath excelled in her studies and rose in a field in which African-American women were rare and met with racism and sexism. Hateration, segregation, racism, that's the noise. And you have to ignore that. Keep your eyes focused on the prize. And the prize is just like Martin Luther King said. Cataract surgery has advanced. Years before her laser innovation, Dr. Bath worked at Harlem Hospital and Columbia University. She noticed an epidemic of blindness in underserved communities. A lot of people were blind from cataracts, glaucoma, where they didn't have to be uh, blind from this because these are preventable, treatable causes of blindness. So she developed the term community ophthalmology. Her career had many firsts. Achieving those firsts and navigating and breaking those barriers, you create space and access for others. Dr. Bath, a true trailblazer, she left behind an inspiring legacy when she died in 2019. I want to pass the torch to um, young girls and have them do STEM, and obviously the residents choose ophthalmology. Among her many accomplishments, she pushed to bring ophthalmolic surgical services to Harlem Hospital's eye clinic and co-founded the American Institute for the Prevention of Blindness.